od log sports info here back with another vid for you guys yeah y'all hit that subscribe like bell icon so y'all can be notified of this real because y'all know od log keeps it real yeah y'all let's get into this video so the fight between canelo alvarez and caleb plant has fell apart right it's dead in the water and you know who we can thank for this we can thank al Heyman. We can thank Al Heyman. But the crazy thing about it, though, is that they try to blame it on Caleb Plant, right? They try to blame it on Caleb Plant. Oh, Caleb Plant, was he being too greedy? If Al Heyman is paying for the fight, I don't think he's being too greedy, right? Caleb Plant is on the PBC. He's on the PBC. So if Al Heyman wants Canelo to fight on his platform, it shouldn't be a problem, right? He should have his fighter back, right? He should pay Canelo and pay um, Caleb Plant and get the money back in pay-per-view sales, right? He should do that. But no, 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 no. Al Heyman isn't going to do that, right? But let's read this. Let's read this. ESPN is reporting that the deal fell apart over contract disagreements of some kind. The plan B now for Canelo is to move up to 175 to challenge unbeaten WBA light heavyweight champion Bevel. Right? So Canelo has options. Canelo's about to move up to 175 and take on Dimitri Bevel. Right? But look. Right below it, it says, was Plant too greedy? I hate to say it, but I told you so. I knew this fight wasn't going to happen because as soon as Plant started babbling about wanting 10 million, I knew it was, I knew it was the kiss of death to the deal getting made. How is that the kiss of death? The money isn't coming out of Canelo Alvarez's pocket, Right? It's coming out of Al Heyman pocket. So Al Heyman was, you know, was on the hook for this fight. Al Heyman should have paid for the whole fight and then get the money back in pay-per-view sales, right? And get it back in pay-per-view sales. But no, 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 no. Al Heyman, obviously he didn't think he was going to get back the money in pay-per-view sales, right? Or is Al Heyman just cheap as fuck? Or is Al Heyman just a damn control freak, right? He wanted to control Canelo because Canelo coming to his platform, he wanted Canelo to do some, you know, some outrageous shit for this fight. And Canelo like, bruh, check this out. I'm my own boss. I got options. You either going to give me the money and we fight or I'm gone because I have options. I don't have to fuck with the PBC ever. And he don't. Canelo don't have to fuck with the PBC. Yes, it has fighters over there he can fight, but he can go into a triple G rematch. He can um he can fight Beater Beave. He can fight Bevo. Right, he can fight um who else? Um, I think it's another fighter out there he can fight. But he can fight a couple of guys. Right? And then retire. Because Canelo has a lot of fucking money. And he has a legacy. So he don't have to be around too much longer. And people got to think about that too. Canelo can retire and give it up. But we all should thank Al Heyman. Because look what it says. It fell apart over disagreements. 